You know there's a problem when you can't get a straight answer, which is why these residents are pretty cranky now. For nine months, their cars have been stuck in an apartment car park and they still have no idea when they'll get them out. What's going on? They took our cars from us. They took our parking spots from us. How would you feel if your car was stuck in there for nine months? Stolen, but not stolen. Imagine this, you park your car for the night inside your apartment building's car stacker. The vehicle then automatically lowers into the ground into its bay. But then something goes terribly wrong. Nearly nine months later and your car's still stuck underground. You're not given a cent in compensation and no one's taking responsibility. July, my car was stuck down there and right now it's March and it's still down there. Last July, yes, July, a car stacker malfunctioned inside the Bond Quarter apartment block in Melbourne. Two months later, fed up residents were still waiting for answers. From there, it's just been a blame game as to what's actually happened, who's responsible. Fast forward, it's now been 276 days and... It just seems like we're getting nowhere, so incredibly frustrating, absolutely infuriating. I don't understand why it's still going on like this. Medical graduate Bowen's been forced to move out. So I hire a car, it costs about $800 uh, a month. And then on top of that, I'm still paying the registration, the insurance for my like previous car. Sam Reitz moved out too. The most annoying thing is just the lack of communication and respect to us as uh, tenants. As has Mohammed. And they keep saying next week, next month, next week, but no update, no progress. Sometimes I think as Australians, we have very few rights. Louise and Doug Brady are livid. I lived in China for 30 years. I often think I had far more rights in China, being a communist country, than I do here in Australia. When we visited the apartment block, all was quiet. The car stacker was taped off with machinery sitting idle. I don't think anyone's done work here for a couple of weeks now. No, and it's just sitting here and it's like disgusting. The blue Suzuki that was swallowed up by the stacker moments after its driver moved out of the way is the only car that's been removed. 30 others are still trapped, including Corey and Dana's. It's just not fair for us, the little guy. We're, we're just the renters in the issue. Over the past few months, residents say there's been a whole lot of buck passing between their owner's corporation run by Sockham and the company that supplied the stacker, Levanta Park. It's essentially like a lot of handballing. I've had to talk to my own lawyer and that's costs and they, they just hit dead ends. No one will correspond and everyone's pointing fingers in different directions. The stacker's only been in use for a few years, supposed to last up to 25 years. An engineer's report found... For such an early onset failure to occur, the only logical conclusion that can be drawn is that the shaft has been compromised through damage at a point in time between manufacturing and commissioning of the stacker. The owner's corporation blames Levanta. Levanta says talk to the owner's corp. It's just a back and forth. Our insurance company said they won't do anything. They said they will do nothing because it's, it's not stolen. To me, it's stolen. They don't even cover your car being stuck in a, in a lift. We can also reveal it's not the first time this car stacker has malfunctioned. Back in 2018, it repeatedly failed. And for those incidents, the owner's corporation is now taking action against Levanta in disputes tribunal VCAT, demanding nearly $1 million in compensation. It's alleged there were multiple defects with the stacker. Among them, Levanta is accused of failing to insert bolts in rails. There's also a court case underway in Perth with another company suing Levanta for misleading and deceptive conduct for installing vehicle hoists outside when they allegedly shouldn't have been out in the elements. We caught up with one of Levanta's owners, Norman Sharples, in Brisbane. I'd just like to ask you some questions about the car stacker down in Melbourne that failed. He tries to make a hasty getaway. Why are you driving away, Norman? I've got another appointment I've got to go to. Oh, that's okay. I just have a couple of questions in relation to the car stacker down in Melbourne that failed. 
there's a lot of people that haven't had their cars for nine months. The insurance company's looking after at the moment. So who's taking responsibility for the this? Company. Which insurance company? Um, the owner's corporation managers, Sockham, were less talkative. Still not fixed. Lots of people's cars are still stuck. We're just are hoping to speak to somebody. Are you, are you recording? We are. Those poor people are still waiting for their cars to be retrieved. Will anyone talk to us this time and tell us what's happening? No, no so, comments. So those no people's comments. cars are stuck and you're not saying anything. No, no. How would you we feel if your car was stuck? Sorry. A lot of them say that you're not responding to their emails or calls. How would you feel if your car was stuck in there for nine months? There's just the lack of accountability is just too much now. Last time we spoke with solicitor Justin Lawrence of law firm Henderson and Ball, he was appalled. If it takes a week to have it fixed, then a week's a reasonable time. Any longer than that, I think you'd be entitled to say, why is it taking that long? You can only imagine his shock when we told him very little's changed. At the end of the day, someone is liable for it. If I'm the owner's corporation or I'm individual owners, I'm taking it up directly with the manufacturer and the installer. And I'm saying someone's liable for this. I'm entitled to park my car in a stacker that's promised to me to actually do the job that it's there for. You've got all these companies that are worth millions of dollars and it's us who are suffering. It seems there's nothing stacking up. Their course, the best course of action is to take legal action, I think. Because until they get to the point where a court or a tribunal says you over there are responsible for this, then there's going to continue to be buck passing. How would you feel if your car, you parked your car one day and the next thing you don't have it for nine months? Do you feel sorry for these people? What would you like to say to them? Absolutely. No, the insurance company is looking after it. Something needs to be done about it, but we're, our hands are tied. Yeah, we couldn't even sell an apartment here if we wanted to. I think they should take a good look at themselves and ask themselves, like, is what they're doing right, you know? Because it really doesn't sit right with me. I'm sure a lot of people would think the same. The owner's corporation manager denied being responsible for the delays and couldn't tell us when the rest of the cars were coming out.